Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and welcome back to Let's Play Wii Sports. Alright, we are finally bringing a wrap up to Wii Sports, folks. Uh, we have two more episodes. There will be one final episode after tonight, and uh, so that'll be the Easter egg episode. But in this episode, we will be checking out the Wii Fitness segment of Wii Sports and basically um, you, they take three random activities from training mode um, just three of any of them it doesn't really matter what they are but takes them and throws them all into one compilation here Ooh, nice music change I like the, I like this music Wii Sports has this really unique music style uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my main me for this. Um, let's see. I was I, I was using right-handed for baseball, so I think I'll switch that up right now, just for this video. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it that like that indefinitely though. But um, yes. Oh yeah, I need my nunchuck as well since there is boxing in the Wii Fitness test. It's luckily sitting right over here. It's literally just the uh, title screen, kind of uh, lower, uh, lower tempo, slow down. I, I don't know. I really like this remix, though. So here we are, October 14th, 2019. You can only do this test once every day, by the way. Now, an easy way to exploit this is to just set your calendar a day before or a day after. Uh, your, the current day after you complete a test, but here you have a locked um, calendar. You can view last month versus this month, three separate months, or just this month. So we're gonna start this up, and I'm gonna. Oh wait, wait, wait. I think I need to. Okay, I completely messed that up. So yeah. Normally, it will sometimes anyway, a message will pop up right when you click start asking you if you'd like to play boxing, because it basically chooses three random activities. Sometimes you'll get a boxing activity, and so you can choose whether you're going to play it or not, and if you don't want to play it, it'll just give you something else, but it kind of threw me off that that didn't show up, so I reset the game, and it registered me as completing the challenge, so I had to go ahead and bump my clock up an extra day but um yeah it's not a big deal we're in it now so the first activity here is target practice we already played this before so we already know how this works but what you have to do is basically just play through these three mini games that they're going to give you we don't actually know what the other two are yet but <clears throat> basically just do as well as you can and um it basically grades you on your performance so uh, it gives you a Wii Fitness age. The best age you can get is a 20. And uh, the lower, the better. So, obviously you want to be young, not old. <laughs> Being old would not be very good. There we go, we got 100. That is definitely going to help out. But uh, basically, it grades you on your score. And, I mean, it's not... I, I forget exactly... I think it's similar to how Wii Fit... Wii Fit... Uh, Calculates your age. I just totally fucked that up. Yay, I get a zero. <laughs> but uh, I think this is similar to how we fit actually calculates your age whenever you do a, uh, I think it's called like an aerobics test or a, a, a physics test. I forget. Physical test, whatever it is, where you go in and it gives you three random activities. That, that was inspired by this, most likely. I'm really screwing this up right now. I really need to pick up the slack here. I'm trying. It's so hard with the the power gauge. I don't like a motion controlled power gauge. Like, see, I'm getting 25s. A lot of those. Uh, I can't. I can't do motion controls. <laughs> this is why I prefer uh, conventional controls. See, that was the exact same swing. Two of the exact same swing. And it registered two completely different shots. Ah, uh, whatever. But, uh, yeah, here I need to actually go under. This time I need to go under 
There we go. Finally, an accurate shot. Oh, oh I'm so close. But, uh, yeah, perform as best as you can. Get the best score you can. And uh, I have gotten a good number of 20s before in this game. That was... What the heck? Why? Into the water? Jeez. <laughs> What's the exact same shot? Ah, motion controls. What can you do? What are you going to do? Actually, I don't think that's going to be enough. I probably should have gone all the way on that one. But yeah, um, I've gotten a good number of 20s. I, I don't know. I don't know how often I used to get them, but I would go for them. I used to do these we, excuse me, these we fitness tests quite a bit, and uh, it was always fun trying to get the best. Oh God, that was terrible. <laughs> it was always fun trying to get the best score you could. Now they do slightly optimize. So here we have returning returning balls. It's return challenge. Uh, they do slightly optimize it. This one, it's not an endless rally, but actually they give you a set number of balls to hit, and you just have to return as many of them as you can. And it doesn't actually tell you your score. The game obviously knows what score you get, but uh, you basically just get graded on how many balls you get out of 50. And I believe it's the same thing for the... Uh, uh, the orange bar one, like the ti timing your swing. I actually don't know if that's in the Wii Fit test. It's been a long time since I've done a Wii Fit test. I used to make videos on these quite a bit where I would just randomly record them, but that's a long time ago. That was back when I didn't really know what kind of content I did wanted to do on YouTube, so I kind of just did what I thought my viewers would like, and uh, this is the game that basically got my channel off the ground, so seemed like the uh, perfect way to do it. I don't think I've missed any of these quite yet, but uh, these do definitely get faster <laughs> as you get to the end, or at least harder to return. Like here, I think they're getting slightly faster. Oh god, oh, I missed it. Dang it. <laughs> I missed it. Hit the net. That was a problem when I played uh, on the alternate court. I kept hitting the damn net. It was really annoying. I think I lost the game because of that. That was really dumb when that happened. Or, er, I don't know. Oh, crap. I wasn't fast enough. Okay, speed. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I told you. It gets fast. <laughs> I, I, wasn't, I wasn't lying. I wasn't joking. It's no shit. It's a lot of balls, too. Lots of balls. Right. And, uh, oh wow, three unique sports. Sometimes they will literally just throw in one sport, or like two of one sport and one of another. I don't know if they can do th all three of one sport. I'm not sure, but um, this will be the last event. This is going to be a really short episode, That actually. A really short episode. But uh, here we have the power throws, and as per usual, bowling, I'm going to go ahead and stand up for this one. Hey, I get the pro bowling ball. That's nice. Get a strike. Yeah. Look at that. We got a strike. Nice throw. That announcer is probably going to be really loud in the video. Sorry. Hopefully it doesn't over overpower my voice. But uh, it's the Wii Sports announcer. You must let him express his excitement. Stupid pin. Oh, no. I'm going to miss one pin on every frame. Here, just watch. <laughs> I'm going to miss one pin every damn frame. Ah, <clears throat> but yes, uh, basically, of course, this one, you're just trying to, you're just trying to knock down as many pins as you can each frame. And uh, on the last one, I'm not going to bother trying to show off the glitch on the last one, or not glitch, the Easter egg on the last one. That will be left for the next video. In which uh, that will actually be nothing but Easter eggs. That will be something to look forward to. Finally got a strike. What the hell? 36. But yes, this is probably probably my favorite of the bunch that we've played tonight. Except target practice I used to love. But motion controls kind of ruins the experience. Especially when your remote doesn't work well. Which, speaking of remote not working well, last episode actually was kind of a disaster. I remember 
having a lot of trouble. We were playing boxing, and uh, yeah, my remote kept not responding. I went to switch my remotes, and my white one, one I have sitting around, would not work. I don't remember. I don't know why it did that. I didn't even try uh, using it afterwards. It just kind of didn't work when I tried to use it on video. Really crappy, if you ask me. <laughs> Did I not miss, like, two frames? Oh, I'm already on the tenth frame. Okay, um, can I get a strike? Ending this off with a strike would be real nice. That's not going to happen, though. Ah, four pins. Dang it. <laughs> got 87. That last frame basically got turned into an entire mode in Wii Sports Resort, though. Alright, sit down. And 25. Not too bad. Sometimes when the uh, when your age pops up, it'll give you like a really good age, and all, and then it'll just kind of kind of sink down to the screen, and then it'll show your real age. Just plop it right on screen. I think it does the reverse. Like it'll give you a really bad one, and then give you a really good one. But uh, it always really annoys me when. Uh, when that happens, but uh, you have three different factors here. You have balance, speed, and stamina. Kind of shows you which way you're kind of leaning more towards. Like here, I'm leaning more towards speed. My balance is absolute crap. Stamina, reasonably reasonable amount. But uh, here, you could have comparison between September and October. August, September, October. I haven't done a test in probably like two years at least so you're not gonna see anything here but uh, this is for the month of October I don't know how bad you'd have to play to get to an 80 but uh, I hope no one ever does that on YouTube I hope there's never a video with someone actually getting a score this low I wonder if the grid would like extend down if you did worse if, if you could even do worse I mean I don't know who knows? The, seriously though, target practice, the golf one, probably is what killed my score. I probably could have gotten like a 23, 22. But uh, yeah, 20 is the best age. I think that's the same deal with We Fit. Actually, no. It tries to give you like your actual real life age. I, I don't know. It, 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 we Fit works a little different than We Fitness. Like We Fit, the actual game. But um. I don't know. This is a fun little uh, fitness test, little little uh, side game within Wii Sports. But uh, that was a very fun one. That was a very short episode too. But uh, that basically concludes Wii Sports, folks. Uh, we took two different looks at each of the five mini games or sports in this game. We checked out the training section basically different iterations of each of these sports and uh, then we <laughs> kind of uh, bundled it all together and put ourselves to the ultimate test in Wii Fitness and uh, even though it's a very short test I feel like they could have put maybe four or five mini games into the Wii Fitness test or at least given you the option to do that I don't know I feel like that may have just giving you a little bit more to do maybe more incentive to actually do it just so that you can actually feel like you really did something I, I, I don't know I don't even know what I'm saying anymore but uh, yeah the Wii Fitness test is very fun I used to love doing those when I was little this game as a whole is very nostalgic for me it's very nostalgic games have a lot of good memories with it but uh, yeah it's a shame how the motion controls kind of didn't age too well. At least for me, they didn't. I hear people praising the motion controls a lot, saying that they work perfectly fine. So maybe if you take a little bit better care of your remote, it could uh, work out a bit better. Sadly, I have like five or six broken Wiimotes just laying around in my room. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's probably my fault. Not... Uh, not uh, the game's fault. Although the game did make me rage and throw my remote a couple times. Not on, not on video. Don't go trying to look for me doing that on video. But uh, I can confirm that that did happen off the, 
uh, behind the scenes a couple times. But uh, I don't know why I'm talking about that right now. That was the Wii Fitness Test, folks. And uh, that basically concludes it. Concludes Wii Sports. Um, but yeah, next episode will be the finale of Let's Play Wii Sports. And we will be taking a look at some Easter eggs in basically... I mean, I, I, I do have to do a little bit of research before this video, but I do know a good few. One of them already showed off. <laughs> Spoiler alert, but uh, yeah. One of them already showed off, and uh, the others I will have to do a little research on. But uh, it's going to be a fun video. I know there's at least a couple I can show off, and uh, should be some good fun. So uh, tune in next time for some easter eggs and secrets here on Wii Sports and also the finale of this let's play but until then I hope you all enjoyed thank you for watching and I will see you all next time